Green grass, green trees, blue sky, not a cloud in that sky either, Matt. Not a bad way to wrap up the month. Today's the last day of August. The burn months begin tomorrow. September begins tomorrow. We're going to be taking a closer look throughout this evening on what September may bring. Coming up, we're going to be talking specifically about rainfall. Because, guys, we need some rain. We've had this dry spell for a while. When you take a look at the overall summer, we've done well. We've done better than some other summers. Remember last summer, we were in a huge drought. Uh, we've done better, but the past few weeks have been just bone dry. And so now, the especially the topsoil, is really getting hard out there. So let's take a look at what's going on weather-wise. Uh, we got this next heat dome coming in, high pressure centered in western Oklahoma. It's inching its way to the east. This dome coming right over us. If you're within the arrows, you get the heat. And this thing is coming right in uh, as we go into the weekend and then also next week. It looks like it's going to last for quite some time. In fact, it may last for the first half of September. So the first two weeks of the month, probably going to be on the warm side. Right now, we have mostly clear skies. We had a couple extra puffy clouds earlier this afternoon. Those have whisked away in that northeast wind. That northeast wind, a little bit drier today. Our temperatures and our dew points, measure of humidity, are all lower. It's a really great afternoon. Maybe you're headed to Springdale. Maybe you're headed to Arvest Ballpark tonight. Beautiful night for baseball, especially for August. Now, this evening, temperatures will fall to the mid-70s by 8 o'clock. And by 9 o'clock, we're knocking on the door of the 60s in northwest Arkansas. Beautiful afternoon in the River Valley looking live over the Arkansas River. We'll be in the 70s by 9 o'clock. This is a little bit faster than we've gotten in the 70s the past few days. Uh, this drier air doesn't last for much longer. The humidity comes back in this weekend, and so when that takes place, our evening temperatures are going to be noticeably warmer. So once you're, you know, trying to spend some time with the family, second half of the day, you're just going to feel the extra heat and mugginess for your Saturday and Sunday. I think tomorrow is one more nice day. Temperatures in the 50s uh, for a lot of us, and then we top out in a lot of the 80s, maybe a few low 90s in the River Valley, but also cooler for your Friday starting this weekend. More heat, more humidity, but it doesn't hit us all at once. It's a gradual process, but I think you're going to notice the little differences, especially by Sunday and Monday. We go back in that caution territory. Remember where we've been just a couple weeks ago. We were sitting in extreme danger category with that heat index. I'm not sure if we'll quite get there. The reason why is because as this dome of heat comes in, it may move so far north that to the south, to closer to the Gulf Coast, some extra showers and thunderstorms may develop, you know, east of Dallas, Waco, towards Alexandria. And what will happen is that will kind of disrupt the southerly flow. So it might be a little bit cooler, but still. 90s back in the forecast, mid and upper 90s for some of us. In northwest Arkansas, we're going to go from the 80s back to the 90s starting this weekend. It'll last through Labor Day, last into next week. In the River Valley, we're headed back to some mid 90s. It's going to be a lot warmer, but I don't think this heat dome is as tough as some of the other ones we've had this summer, but overall, we'll be a little bit warmer than normal. It's going to last a little longer than what we've had. Yeah, this one could be a week and a half at least. Really? Last I've stopped like. keeping track. <laughs> yeah. I just yeah. live for the day exactly. at this point. Yeah. 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 <laughs> thanks, Matt. As you just said, thanks. Or not yeah. last night. You didn't even say thanks. Uh,